girl, who apparently is John Wayne Murdoch's neighbor, who he absolutely hates, and they despise each other, but I don't know about you, this Oh, Jesus. my goodness. And, oh, oh, no. Well, that backfired. Not going to work on the big man. The big hoss, Jimmy Felcher. Oh. oh. Did you see Jimmy in Hardway Heater? And I don't know. Oh, God. you got to think those slaps in the back, all those cuts in the glass. That's just nasty. Wait a minute. What's Juicy Jim here? Vader bomb. Oh, oh to the light. Oh, my tent. goodness. That could be it. Two. Oh, wow. We almost had new champions. Low blow. But wait a minute. Akira has you. Oh! oh! He just got sent through that board with light tube strap. Talking local, local indie, indie superstars, superstars and legends. legends. There's no disqualifications. There's no holds barred when it comes to the conversations that you will hear on From Parts Unknown. When wrestling, when wrestling was real. real. When, wrestling when wrestling was awesome. Was awesome. Yeah, this is fucking bullshit to see today. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to introduce... Live in the studio, we are shooting from parts unknown, episode fucking six. We got Juicy Jimmy sitting behind me, man. How you doing, bro? God damn, we've made it six episodes. It don't seem like it, but man. we we got our hustle on, man. We're here every Fuck fucking yeah. week. We yeah. would be here. We would we were here Sundays when people don't show up. We're here yeah. uh, Wednesdays when people break their foot. But we'll get back to that later, right? Yep. We have Slim over there, man. Fucking always doing the what man. he's doing, spinning the, the songs if we want it. The he, legend. He, 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 oh, he's a genie. He's a genie <laughs> in a bottle. Oh, rub Slim me in the will right rub way. Him the right way. And, and we have a awesome fucking guest in this room right now. I knew him. I knew him first as Victor Vargas. Everybody hail. Everybody hail. We just came to raise a little hail. Everybody hail. Everybody hail. We just came to raise a little hail. That's where I was introduced to him first. He don't remember me. I was a big goofy son of a bitch in the fucking fan and the and you know in the, in the in the stands and the seats, following him around Central Kentucky, watching him fucking do his fucking thing. And then I got to meet him on a different level, which was fucking awesome. And we have fucking Dustin Edwards in the studio, man. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening, my man? Motherfucker, you- dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm a Mark. I'm the Mark. <laughs> I am, dude. I We're get, all Marks. I get happy all- shit, dude. I've talked about you several times. Not bad. I, um... I was really, really, really taken in well by the PTW alumni that was going on last year, and I couldn't express my, uh, you know, appreciation more. Like I, I went in there, and it was more. I've told him, man, it was like a brotherhood with the students more than I've almost ever seen in some other kind. It was, it was really neat. Yeah. And the way everybody was cool with me, I didn't feel like somebody coming out on the street. I felt like a part of it as soon as it happened, and it was something that made me want to even do it more which was awesome yeah, and it was yeah. cool and you were a main part of that shit you. you know so you were running that fucking bitch for the most of the time you were like hey dude get in line and get your goddamn push-ups going dude let's get through this so we so i can train you know what i'm saying um so man it's moved yes yeah um it's it's, it's went from paris to over here it's yes. kind of got a new concept what's going on with you guys down there so uh the the big story is um we've touched about it a little bit uh, uh-huh. on our own uh facebook page but mm-hmm. basically Absolutely. you know dude covid we we all know what 2020 has been like uh, shit. shit complications with covid <laughs> uh unfortunately we had to give up the paris location mm-hmm. yeah. um so ptw itself as a live show entity is kind of just in limbo it's gotcha. not gone by any means it's mm-hmm. just kind of with everything going on we need to uh, we just need to focus on yes yeah, just shit. steps up away so uh we've taken from ptw we've taken legends pro wrestling mm-hmm. uh larry's school mm-hmm. and made it its own entity and now moved it up here mm-hmm. to cynthia kentucky yeah wow. what about larry hold up just real quick you can't say that name to me without <laughs> fucking at least going <laughs> Mother fuck. <laughs> him 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 on impact fucking him and big boy just kicking yeah. ass. Oh yeah. Dude, uh, 
I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about a little bit of background, but I remember when they were wrestling each other. Mm, oh yeah, to yes, see who's yeah. next. Yeah, yeah, remember we would uh, we would go up to Revolver and yep. they would and wrestle. then boom. Hey, mm. the whole time they were thinking of both of you motherfuckers next to each other kicking ass. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, absolutely. And they did, dude. I was I was thrilled, especially being able to see it kind of uh it was it was the steam was there when mm. I was hanging out with him and stuff. Yeah. And it was really neat to see it actually happen. Oh, you know? Yeah. It, it it was a good thing. Um with the school over here is is it a gym opportunity? Can like, can you come and and work out in there and use the ring, or is the ring for student and for project only type deal? So that's the coolest thing about uh, what we've got now set up as opposed uh -huh. to the Paris building. So. Uh -huh. It, think of it less as like just a gym or a school, and it's the closest thing. Uh, it, I mean, it is. It's a performance center essentially. Mm -hmm. okay. It's not just for people who want to come in from the ground up mm -hmm. and learn pro wrestling, but like if you're uh, someone you've been working for years and you just want a, an open ring or just to Boom. hone your craft even oh, wow. further. Wow, yeah, that, that's really cool. In, that's awesome as shit. Yes. We want. Uh, it's not just for uh, Larry's school to get better. We want all of uh, all of wrestling to get better. I if, think people really yeah. need to know that. Yes. Yeah, that's, you know, that's really me, cool. Me Looking into it and understanding, I'm I'm a really big fan. I haven't went down there and actually talked to anybody inside there. I've talked to Philip a few times. Mm -hmm. He's told me to come down there and check out stuff. Larry's told me to swing by. I haven't got to yet, so I was I didn't understand exactly what was going on in there. Yeah. So I think if people understand that that's yeah. an open gym opportunity, that's in that's impressive. Yeah, that's that's fun. huge. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, that's we were, a really neat thing. The it, it, and I say we, but it, uh, it's, yeah. it's all Larry. Well, yeah, it, it, <laughs> right. Larry's Larry's awesome. And you guys are his his team that's underneath him is is something that makes him even better. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. The loyalty that's underneath him make, makes the whole thing even fucking better. Loyalty, I think, is one of the biggest things in wrestling, is it not? Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. 100%. Like if you can't trust I was talk we were, we've been talking wrestling for four hours already today. Yep. And one of our biggest things we always go back to is like I want to be able to trust a motherfucker. Yeah. And that, you know, the ring, it, no matter how good you're in the ring, how good yeah, you can yep. talk, how much money you can do, I want to be able to trust you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, yeah, if, if, a, I can't trust, if I can't trust a dude fuck him yeah straight up <laughs> yeah man and and with and that was a big thing like i said he he he's been in the wrestling business a long time yeah. and he's been a little bit inquisitive to me about what went on in there you know what from my perspective and i can't say anything bad at fucking all <laughs> nothing yeah. i could try to pull some tea saying the hot dogs might have been cold <laughs> one or two times or something but dude my experience going into there and seeing it, it, it being it being performed and how it went on and what was everybody was doing was awesome and it was being done cool oh yeah and everybody was being treated the right way yeah absolutely and for the and from what i seen everybody gave a fuck yeah yeah and that's a big deal i because i've always thought of it as uh we're all in this together yeah man essentially like like especially if you come there you train with us that means yeah you know, you're you're one of us then yeah you, you if uh, the the you're, you've said it you i remember you guys saying it you know the weakest link that's it and it's just like a football team guys yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's great, dude. Um, Jimmy. Yeah, buddy. So you finally broke to me some of that deathmatch stuff that went on yeah. a couple weeks back. Yeah, it broke me. Motherfuck, <laughs> though, dude. You were taking some beatdowns. Yeah, well, you know, you, yeah, dude, once, twice, maybe three times a year, I like to do that do that shit, especially on that stage. Bruiser Jimmy. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Uh, He's a madman. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess you can say that, but, like, right now, I'm not a madman. I'm not, like, no. <laughs> I don't want to like, get you riled up. No. Especially like, behind me. Well, yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> baby, don't threaten me with a good time. So, <laughs> giggity, giggity, giggity. All right. So, I'm a big fucking dork, guys. Oh, obviously. We're all wrestling fans. The only one in here that might not know some of these guys is probably Slim. Slim's been uh, figure, listening to a whole lot of names he probably hasn't heard, especially with the video games I've been making him play, and he's been listening to the wrestling talk. A whole, Damn, There's Slim. a whole lot more than WWF out there, baby, baby. Um, so, I, I did a little mock uh, um, eight-man... Like, let's, we can call it like a Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Cup eight-man tournament. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't throw tag teams together, but I just threw some guys together. Singles tournament? Singles tournament. Okay. Only eight men. All right. We're going to go in a triangle. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to start with Dustin, and I'm going to say the first match. You give me the winner. All right. Then it goes to me, then him, then him, then him, and we see who determines the winner of this tournament. All right. I can get behind this. Yeah. All first right. match. Jim the, Knight, Jim the Anvil Nightheart. 
Okay. He's fighting Jay Briscoe. Oh, no, don't do that to me. <laughs> oh, no. It's <laughs> a rough one. Yeah. Man, Jay's had a lot of success as a singles guy, so I think... Can I he do that Jay driver, too? Yeah, that's the, that's the question. Can you get mm. big-ass Jim Anvil? Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. mm-hmm. You giving it to Briscoe? I gotta go with... Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest... Jay Briscoe, yeah. <sighs> Oh, that's my boy. <laughs> I got, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I, I could tell my obsession with the Briscoes yeah. later if I want to. Oh, please. I might have uh, Mark Briscoe's gum and a dollar bill. Keyword in might. The back. Wow. Because he pushed me because I aggravated him so fucking much. He pushed me into my girlfriend, lost his gum, which went into my pocket. Wow. <laughs> I found it when I was buying a beer. <laughs> so you just kept it? Yeah, it's back there. Did you frame it? I need to. I, I got, I got, I got, it's in the work. My wife knows. Can you know we say geek? I got to get, get through this marriage first before she understands yeah. my love for a few men. You know what I'm saying? You, you got bigger fish to fry right now, Nick. Exactly, dude. All right, I'm actually going to skip me. I'm going to go third. Oh, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to pass it to you. You pussy. Uh, I am. I'm going to skip it because uh, I'm bi- I'm bipartisan to, to the second match. Yeah, okay. I am. Right. I am. It's, it, I am. It's, well, uh, hit me with it. It's my two favorite wrestlers, okay. actually, of all time. Versus each other. I just realized that. I just set this up in my mind, but my mind makes me go to these two dudes most of the time. All right. It's Hawk, L O D. Uh huh. And you remember his run, man, when he went like to Japan for a little yeah, bit. And he came back. Power Warrior. <sighs> yes. Yeah. I thought when he came back, he was going to be world champ. Yeah. I can believe that. I thought Hawk was going to be champ. I was oh, yeah. silly. I thought Bobby Eaton was going to beat Flair on Clash of Champions. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> in a better world. Yeah. <laughs> I'm foolish. Hawk versus Abdullah the Butcher. Oh! Oh! Wow! Wow! That's a yeah, yeah. No, no double DQs either. Oh well, man. Yes, <laughs> I couldn't do it. I can't. I walk out. I can't even imagine mm. trying to uh, book that match. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like. Yeah, I have a feeling that would go to double DQ, buddy. It would like, have to do something like that. You got to. Yeah, there's got to be a winner though. There's got to be a winner. It has to be a winner. Uh, there's no way we can't give Jay Briscoe all the way to semifinals because the dude. I got to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, Road Warrior Hawk. Oh. Mm. I guess because if it came down to a shoot, how, how, if oh, it how, came yeah. down to a shoot, how's yeah. Butcher going to beat him? Yeah, yeah, without stabbing him. <laughs> well, I mean, even if he does that, look, look at Hawk. Wow, what been a match. stabbed and it didn't stop him. What a match! I got an easy one to me. <laughs> oh, you puss! Oh, okay, that's to me. <laughs> it's actually two Bam Bams, kinda. There's three Bam Bams in this tournament. Good kinda. lord, man! Kinda. All right, subliminal. It's my favorite shit. Fucking Bruiser Brody. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. He's fighting the dude from Asbury Park, Bam Bam Bigelow. It's a good fight. Real good. It's a fight. Um, I see Bruiser on the ground. Fuck it. Bam Bam hits the moonsault and then goes back up for the headbutt. And Bruiser jumps up and gives him the fucking boot <laughs> while he's coming down. <laughs> Breaks his neck, basically. It's over Hell with. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Bruiser Brody. Wow. Yeah, we're going back to Dustin for the last match in the first round. Oh, man. This is a a barn burner. (laughs) Bam Bam. Terry. Oh. Bam Bam Gordy versus his fucking partner. No, don't you do it. (laughs) Woo! Steve. Dr. Death. (laughs) Williams, fuckers. Oh, man. Ah! (laughs) Man, him with the Varsity Club. Yeah. Oh, uh, people don't mention him all the time. People will be like, oh, Kevin Sullivan, Rick Snyder. Yeah. <laughs> um, when fucking Dr. Death put on them fucking tight son, he was he was big that, time. Them yeah, all man. Japan matches. That's, were Jesus. Jesus. That's immediately what I think of. Yeah. 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 Them as a team as the Miracle Violence Connection as well. Oh, no. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, no. It's, it makes you It makes you really fucking think. Mm-hmm. You know, because they had that going on with the Steiners was going on over here. Doom was going on over here. The Samoan SWAT team was fucking, you know, it was like there were so many huge fucking teams. Why wasn't someone booking that shit the right fucking <laughs> yeah, I don't know. way in the States? Makes me sick. Who you got? That's tough. That's real tough. Both use that backdrop driver. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'd be an awesome match. Dr. Death I'm sure it's happened, but. Yeah. 
Dr. Death throws back Gordy. Gordy just rolls through, grabs him, oh, takes back, him back, over. Back, back, back. They're both down, Delvin. <laughs> oh, man. That, that all Japan Kings Road stuff. Oh, <laughs> makes my blood boil every time I think of it. Dude, and just imagine the crowd. <laughs> the crowd's all over it, dude. These two oh, dudes yeah. are tearing into each other, dude, like monsters. It's like, it's, it's Godzilla. Yeah. It's Godzilla in real life. Oh, man. I got to give it. I got to give it. To the two of them that won that triple crown first. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest. It's old Bam Bam. <laughs> oh, <laughs> taking it back to Bad Street. Woo! Tacky, Bad yeah. Street! We're going back wow. to Bad Street. Hey, <laughs> Not no. <laughs> <laughs> Not none of that Jimmy Garvin shit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about that, man? If we're talking wrestling, dude, a lot of people hate on the Jimmy Garvin fucking PS. You know, the I WCW liked him, man. Man, I liked him. Like, Did you? With yeah, because they they wrestled with what rock and roll. Yeah, like it, it was early. Like, dude, that early '90s WCW stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, there's some gold in there. Like, don't get me wrong. Some of it is awful looking mm -hmm. back on it. But, <laughs> like, man, a lot of the wrestling there at the time, you go back and look at it, it still holds up to this day, man. Well, I'm going to let you know one thing, dude. We've had, this is episode six, which we're still babies. But yeah. it seems like oh, we man. fucking tick the clock back to that fucking 605 time every time we, we do on here sometimes. <laughs> we do. So there's was something fucking, going, was something's going on there, man, this when it comes era. to wrestling fans. It's very good era. Woo. The thing to me, though, man, now is a good era yeah oh now is a phenomenal era <sighs> imagine like wrestling has never been as easily accessible as it is never now. Mm -hmm. never you get to like, see what you want to see like yeah. i used to trade tapes mm. to get what you can get on youtube yeah. now yeah yeah for free it's it's all in the palm of your hand now like i remember like, but i will say this the tapes dvds whatever you want to call it i do like those a lot better in certain circumstances because it's all original music yeah and yeah like 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 the ecw shows on the network i try to watch them and i do watch them a lot but mm -hmm. it's just it's not the same when the sandman doesn't come out to metallica and, yeah you know uh, new jack didn't come out to natural born killers like it's just not the same don't you say tease my ears talk about ecw <laughs> baby baby no. we're gonna take a quick break man this is that we do Are we? We, this is a radio station you know what I'm saying? so we do <laughs> we no do play, shit we do play some music here every oh we do hit. absolutely <laughs> and i took groundbreaking i'm in several bands so i'll just play my own shit toot, a lot toot, of the time. Motherfucker. Toot, toot up here i think it was over you that this confrontation began well bob coddle i'm gonna be real brief i don't want to come out here and blow my own horn i don't want to toot my own horn but toot toot <laughs> This is the Psychotic Marvels, man. This song is called Blame. You're listening to From Parts Unknown, Juicy Jimmy, yeah. Nick Hive, and we have motherfucking Dustin Edwards in the fucking studio telling us how it is in the indie scene. We'll be right back.
we have a fun fucking show going on tonight, man. This is really cool. A lot of energy. Um, like I said, um, the indie scene is what we're covering around here, and it's cool because I have Jimmy, who's been in it for 16 plus years, so I have an inside scoop, and then I like bringing in the guys that I know the best from around town. You know what I'm saying? And from around the area, who's wrestling in the area. I know, Dustin, that I've seen a cool-ass new promo picture of you um, trying to, you know, get you around here to kick people's asses, man, and show them what's going on around the area, show them how they can't hurt you. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Because can't nobody damage Victor Vargas. No, no, no. He always comes back to get you. Yeah, yeah, And the Hellbilly Stomp Tribe. Mm Mm-hmm. Woo! (laughs) It's one of my favorite tag teams in Central Kentucky, baby. Um, So tell us a little bit about how somebody can book you and how to get in touch with you if they want you to come and kick ass in their town. Okay, so the easiest way to get a hold of me is uh, on Gmail. It's hhvargus, mm-hmm. V-A-R-G-U-S at gmail.com. <laughs> you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter uh, at headhuntervarg. Mm-hmm. Wow. So that's the best way. And when we release this, if anybody have, has any questions to him, you can comment on you know however you guys are listening or you can call in at 859-586-456 of the studio if you have any questions about him or any of the other Let's people here voice, affiliated. Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, baby, how do you like it? Woo! So I got a, I got a few old school questions. I, I ask a few questions because I myself is a are, is a fan. I'm a fan. I'm really intrigued about wrestlers and where they came from, where their origins is from, and all that good kind of stuff. When were you kind of that it clicked that you wanted to be a wrestler? Oh se? man! So. Uh I'm another kid that, you know, we always grew up watching it, you know, mm-hmm. grew up in the Attitude Era. Mm-hmm. Uh, later on, get into stuff like the Indies and Japan and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it never bit me at a young age like most people. Wow. Most people will tell the story of being five years old and watching Hulk. Hogan. Right. Uh, it didn't click with me till I was like 16. 16. Wow. It's all good. It's yeah. all good. Was, 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 was that during the uh, the Attitude time? So you were six, So you were you were the big guy fan. You were the, the, the classic, I love wrestling. Yes. And then at 16 years old what happened to you i'm not sure uh of all things because i absorb as much wrestling as i can Uh from as many promotions as i can but i bought a dvd of just old school early 90s undertaker and there you go jesus christ it's like we were just talking about that he just watched the undertaker video (laughs) yeah i did continue i'm sorry but it was literally in the middle of the the undertaker versus undertaker survivor series match something clicked in my head and was like I want to do that. Uh-huh. I want to. I want to bring those emotions out of people, and yeah, because that seems that sounds like fun. Can I ask a trivia question? Yes, I'm going to ask it to Juicy Jimmy first. Oh, baby, bring it. <laughs> eat it. Just eat that. Yeah, eat the flies that go there. Oh, don't you come close to me, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. Little shop of horrors. All right, Jimmy. <laughs> who was the Undertaker under the mask? Do what now? Who was the second Undertaker in the Undertaker versus Undertaker? Uh, that was um uh. Cr- uh Brian Adams. Right? No, it's no. The, no, he's from Memphis. But I mean, from uh, uh, um, um, Smoky Mountain. Smoky Mountain. Oh, oh, hold on here. Yeah, second go. It, it was close. We're close. The Undertaker. Like, under Undertaker the mask. Versus Undertaker versus Undertaker. Yeah, it was. It was Brian Adams. Or uh, 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 the old. You're close. He was, yeah, he was um, a champion <laughs> down there. Uh, you don't like Cornette. Oh bullshit! He hated on your all's <laughs> matches that y'all did last I week. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> a few moments later. <laughs> <laughs> but. Anyway, fucking, oh, goddamn. One eternity later. You got one more guest, man. You're getting kicked out of the studio. <laughs> well, fucking kick me out then, because I'm drawing a blank, motherfucker. All right, we're going we're to take it to Dustin to see if he can get the right answer. Oh, it's primetime Brian Lee. That's correct. Brian Boom! Lee. Yeah. So close. You had the Brian part. And I actually fell for it because as soon as I heard Brian, I was like, yeah. And Dustin was like, you're both dumb. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, you got me slipping, dude. Hey, like, what that's the? That's a good question, though, man. I came in on a good day. Wait till you hear the edits he does with that shit to make it sound cool. It's a yeah. little game yeah. show we fucking just did. That's going to be fucking slim gold. A, slim a butter our biscuit, baby. You're 16 years old. You watch the Taker vs. Taker. You decided that you wanted to do the passion. Do, do you start training or do you start looking into it what are you wrestling people around your neighborhood are you beating up like the nate what are you doing like oh how, yeah. how are you getting into you jumping off roofs yeah like what's going on <laughs> with you? yeah trampolines like what's going on i definitely did like of course like anything me and my friends after that after that mm-hmm. bit me that's all i was like i just want to talk about wrestling i just want to watch wrestling let's watch wrestling let's play yeah. wrestling let's do wrestling let's was you the champ wrestle. uh yes and then i lost it <laughs> you booked your, oh okay <laughs> booked yourself on top kid and, yeah <laughs> and then he's he's been champion for uh 15 years 
Goddamn right. Yeah. Could, could never win it back. But yes. <laughs> um, you should find him. I finally got into it. I finally took the leap um, mm-hmm. to jump into pro wrestling at 25, actually. Oh, gotcha. Good. My first, my first uh, forego um, just didn't pan out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I won't go into too much details. It mm-hmm. was just a very negative experience at that time. And gotcha. actually, and Which I, that can be. Yes. That's the yes, reason. I, that's right. the reason. If you rewind this, you know, twenty minutes, you hear me thinking <laughs> what I experienced last year. You know, <laughs> yeah, right? Absolutely. Sorry, continue. But um, yeah, it's just a very negative experience to the point. It like I was like, I I don't want to have anything to do with this now. Like I still enjoyed it as a fan, but I I gave up trying to get into it mm-hmm. until uh, about. It took me another five years to now. Oh, so then when I finally. Yeah. So then at thirty. Yes. And then so at thirty, what steered you to PTW? Is that where you went or did you yes. go somewhere first and then get to PTW? So PTW, I came after. I went to a completely separate place uh, when I first tried to go in at 25. I mean at 30. Oh, at, at 30. Yes. Right, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, I started over there at PTW. Okay. Um, I just decided I wanted to try it. Like, let's really give this a try. Oh, okay. Um, why, 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 uh, what if is a terrible thing to say? You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Um, but I was swore off Kentucky wrestling. I was like, I'm not going to train here. It's a bunch of idiots. I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Wow. <laughs> I've heard that before in the studio. And uh, my buddy was just like, you know, come up to Paris. They've got a great show. You've got to get with Larry if you're going to do this. And yeah. I was like, ah, no, Kentucky goof show. I don't want no part of it. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then finally he's like, we're, we're going. We're going to the show. You're coming with me. I bought his tickets. Mm-hmm. And of course... Uh, uh, that first show after that I was like okay yeah this is the place to be they, uh, right. they put a product out that I was like no I do want to be part of that and even That's walking in yeah. walking you've you've been to the the old facility but you come in and it's a ring and a clean floor mm-hmm. and an yeah. entranceway and mm-hmm. a, a video set up like wow they actually put effort into this they made sure of it yes the guys worked all day yeah oh yeah on Sundays yeah. They, worked they, worked, their they worked all off. day they worked yeah. all night they worked all day you know it, it was it was really really passionate but it made each other want to do it for each other at all almost seemed like mm-hmm. like you didn't want to not be there because you didn't want to let down the other person because you knew that they had to do it anyway yeah, yeah we yep. were a crew it was a crew in there yeah yep. it was fucking it was it was it, yes way it, yeah there you go slim dude right here do we uh we love each other mm-hmm. yep. we, we we did a performance uh friday night and a girl that came in and performed for us uh when she left she was like you know i've played a whole bunch of different places but one thing with you guys man it was like you guys loved each other yeah like, oh we yeah do. oh yeah, yeah. hunter I was like, that's the reason we fucking, that's why we all do it here, man. We don't, we don't want nobody in here that we uh, feel like is going to fucking stab us in the back or Absolutely. some that shit, man. We want some cool ass fucking We're shit. We're all in this on. together. All yeah. in this together. <laughs> and together we shall be. <laughs> that's some good shit, man. All right. Here's, here's my favorite question almost. Okay, here we go. You went to PTW. Mm-hmm. You, you started your training. When you had your very first match at PTW, First off, what was the song, if you can remember? And then, how did you feel, man? Like, backstage, right before you walked through the curtain for your first time running out with PTW. Mm -hmm. Um, So my song Uh was uh, Raise a Little Hell by Reverend Peyton. Everybody hail, everybody hail. We just came to raise a little hell. Everybody hail, everybody hail. We just came to raise a little hell. Boom. And I still use that to this day. No, Damn. Boom. Yeah. yeah, it's... Uh, we'll get that rocking. Yeah, thumps. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I just remember, like, you know, weeks leading up to that date, knowing it's coming, you know, you're nervous, you're scared, you're working you as hard as you can. I did not. <laughs> I did not puke. Yeah. But there's an entire cool story I will tell you about my well, first match. There uh, you go. So, of course, you're like, but right when I get to the uh, the curtain, like any feeling of nervousness or self-doubt, it just, it, it was away. Away. And I got like this laser focus, like now it's time to go to work. Boom. Like, here's what we've been working for. Mm-hmm. Let's go do it. Put in that work. Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, um, for those who may not know, uh, I actually wrestled barefoot. Oh, yeah. And our first, <laughs> uh, my first match um, took place at the uh, Wild Man Days, the festival. Oh, boy. So we're outside. What a perfect thing. Yeah, wow. I know. I just said, I, that's the coolest thing. I'm, the already, I, I'm already sympathizing where you're getting ready to go, my brother. <laughs> yes. Roll on. And Roll on. Is, uh, it's, it's mid June. 
Um, it's high <laughs> noon. <laughs> it's 80 degrees outside. Ooh. So I walk out to this blacktop and I'm like, the blacktop's a little warm. But oh, I'm doing my thing. I'm going yeah, around. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. My first entrance ever. I'm so excited. And I get in the ring and I feel like I'm standing on a skillet. Oh, no. And like they said, they saw it on my face. They're shocked. They're like, what's wrong with him? What's he doing? Oh, and geez. yes. You're doing the two step in <laughs> yes. there. Yeah, it the, fucking sucks. So bro. if you can find oh, the footage, that's no. what you see me is doing yeah. like chicken foot and you see the shock on my face and then I'm in. You're so animated. Yeah. <laughs> That's what everyone's like. Oh man, you look like a crazy wild man stepping like you that. You probably could have fried time. an egg on yeah. that canvas. Well, yes, yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. And uh, so and I'm out there for ten minutes, Ooh. and this and <laughs> the match is over. And I'm walking back, and I can already feel like, oh, those are going to blister up. Bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got uh, second degree burns on my feet. Oh goodness. Yeah, that was my first match. <laughs> Boy, what a memory. Yeah. <laughs> it's only uphill from here. To the floor's lava, though. Right. <laughs> God damn right. Oh, yeah, he's the OG to it. Yeah, they owe you probably something. Yeah, I lost. I lost that the game. That shit sucks, bro. <laughs> yeah. That canvas stays out all day. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, I, I had a very similar situation at like oh, a no. like a uh, a children's a charity event in Richmond one time. Ooh. Yeah. The bell time was at noon, and the ring had been setting out since that early, early oh, that morning no. in direct sunlight. Yeah, oh. that's, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what mine was, too. Yeah. The, 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 like I told you earlier, the barefoot thing, mm-hmm. it is a gift and a curse. Yeah. Yeah. All in one. Can't, I can't retread these tires. No, no. <laughs> I, dude, I can't even imagine, dude. I uh, I had an incident where I just kind of went walking out one time with a, a lady. We were downtown Lexington, and I was wearing flip flops. Uh, mm. And by the time I got back, I was like a quarter size of my foot that had like blows. just caved oh, into no. my foot as far as it could, <laughs> man. And I walked like I was retarded for at least fucking <laughs> a day and a half, man. I couldn't do shit. Oh I, man. So I couldn't imagine second degree burns on my fucking face no, it was awful like, uh, like welcome to the business boy <laughs> not, not to get not to get gross about it but like when who I was pop- your opponent by the oh way. um my opponent was uh, another one of the students um his name was a uh, unforeseen sensational perez oh, yeah okay yeah yeah athletic yes yeah, very shit. athletic as well i like him. incredibly talented yeah yeah, I've I've talked about him several times. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to have him in. Is he? What is he doing? Do you see him? Uh, he's he's away right now. You got him. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just, again, twenty twenty has been a crazy year for all. No, of it us. happens. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Fuck twenty twenty. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> Perez is awesome though. Man, he's very animated. He yeah. Is, he was always yeah. well spoken. Um, we always got along really great, man. I, I liked I liked him a whole lot too, man. There was so many cool faces. Yeah. That was from down there. Oh yeah. What my biggest uh, thing is, man, is that your tag team, you you and Jacob, man. Oh yeah. I cannot wait. To see you guys kicking some more ass. Didn't you guys get to go on a little trip just about a week ago or something like that down towards Alabama or something like that? Yeah, Russell? yeah, we, Tennessee, uh, Alabama. Yeah, Tennessee, yeah, Alabama. We did a loop of uh, yeah, Tennessee, Alabama. How'd that go for you? Just, that was uh, that was phenomenal. Got to work great. at two two great promotions. Mm-hmm. Uh, helping a seminar that Larry was putting on down there. Oh, boom. And, uh, you know, I haven't been then that long myself, but it's still cool to be able to help out people who are exactly where I was not Fuck too yeah. long ago. Fuck yeah. Did uh, did you get to wrestle in the world-famous Gypsy Joe Arena in Tullahoma? <laughs> uh, I, yes, I got to wrestle in the Gypsy Joe love Arena. Love that place. Love that yeah. place. It is buck fucking wild. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> UConn Jack's my dude, man. Oh, yeah. He took uh, very good care of us. That's yeah. <laughs> fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> so, dude, we have probably the biggest tournament, singles tournament ever held <laughs> in our heads, fictitiously, <laughs> on paper, in the studio. Yeah. Cause That's pretty important. It's, yeah. We need a belt for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? It's got to be completely no, bro. Out. No, <laughs> no, no. You, Just you, the you, whole you, no, <laughs> no. Like you, you, you remember in in the uh, bunkhouse uh, uh, battle royals, mm-hmm. Dusty Rhodes would always win the big cowboy boot. Yeah, we yeah. need something like that. Mm-hmm. Big Maybe a boot. big beer keg. Hey, hey, like like something like the Crusher would carry out. Like like we, like a decorative one. And well, like, dude, we have we have. Do we have the Red Bull thing we had decorated? We could strip it down and turn it into something fucking epic. Brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm with you there, dude. Yeah. For skull face, we could get a skull. Like have a a human skull? That's a little deep, but fuck it. <laughs> I like what you're thinking, I suppose. Can we pick who we get? Can we bury them out back? <laughs> like well, how do we how do we determine this? Do you take requests on skulls? Can we have a match for that? Loser loses his skull. <laughs> <laughs> Buried alive. <laughs> That's pretty deep shit, man. All right, so we're gonna get back into this fucking tournament real mm. quick. Yeah. I think when we left, you had the last one so we're going to juicy jimmy yeah. for uh, the first match in the quarterfinal no this is the first match this is semi 
semifinals because yeah, of an eight baby. man. Yeah, baby. Ooh, mm, who's shit. in it? Give it to me. Does that mean I get to do the finals? Am I tooting my own horn? Fuck yeah. You like okay, you, 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 you always do. You. I mean, give it to Slim. Stand yeah. in the deck. <laughs> I don't want to toot my own horn, but toot, toot. I don't know. All right, <laughs> check it out. Who we got? You ready? Yeah. Jay fucking Briscoe. Uh huh. Quick story. I'm in fucking Tennessee. I'm watching a Ring of Honor show. I look at the corner of my eye. I see the Briscoes going to the only bathroom in this whole fucking facility. I'm like, oh, no homo, but here we go. So I'm going towards the fucking bathroom, and I get there, and there's a fucking urinal. 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 There's a urinal. (laughs) Urinal. There's a urinal. Right in between the Briscoes, baby. No, no. (laughs) Oh, my God. This is like the worst kind of fan right here. Like... Let the man take a piss. No. I get I get myself I get my big old fucking two hundred and ninety pound fucking dread headed ugly ass in between them both. Unzip it, look up to the sky, and then I talk. <laughs> Cause I've been drinking, you know, if I'm out in Tennessee, fuck, and I'm just yeah. wrestling, I can get in a buzz. I look up and I'm like, Man, I ain't trying to be stupid or what you know, you know, I'll try to get my excuse real quick. But, but I'm living a dream taking a piss in between you two motherfuckers. Oh, man. that's weird. Jay says <laughs> nothing. <laughs> oh, I w- dude. Dude. Jay says nothing. <laughs> Jay looks at me like, all right, say one more thing, kind of, and I will fuck you up, man. Like, seriously. Mark <laughs> looks at me and says, huh, guess we're like pissing brothers or something. <laughs> 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 made my fucking day, dude. Epic. Epic. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so mean, mean ass Jay Briscoe. Uh huh. <laughs> versus, uh, you know, what a rush. Oh, there's no question in this one. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest. Oh, yeah. Woo, that was quick. No question. You're jobbing yeah. him? Is he is he is he getting the J driver standing right the fuck? Oh, up? absolutely, oh, yeah. absolutely. He always knows sold power. Uh, oh power man, drivers. that would be fucking cool yeah. to see. Yeah. That would be cool. I yeah. almost want to put that on a video game just to fucking reenact <laughs> it. Wow, we got Hawk getting to the finals. This is big boy status. All right, Dustin. Ooh, man, your your two matches are fucking dandies. I know. I think I know where you stand though in this next one. Okay. Because I remember everything. It's stupid. I remember every <laughs> conversation from any day, and probably I don't know if you remember this about me. He finds it out. I'm a t-shirt guru, oh, and I would oh, always yeah. possess a pretty decent shirt, different one too. You usually don't even see one twice, man. I try to fucking rep wrestlers I always like and I got this Bruiser Brody, Bruiser Brody shirt and uh, the first time you ever really fucking lit up around me with a mm-hmm. big smile was yeah. when you seen the fucking <laughs> yeah, Bruiser I remember shirt. That. <laughs> I remember that. I was like, alright, I know where his fucking head is now, baby. I was like, I know exactly what the fuck to talk about with this dude. <laughs> so, we got Bruiser Brody mm. versus Terry fucking Gordy. Oh, man. Jesus. Mm. Jesus. Yeah, that's a, that's that's a monster a, movie. Is that... Is, uh, did, that happened. Brody and Gordy? That had to happen in USWA or something. Uh, yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. yeah. Don't you think that would have happened? Because I don't think it happened in all Japan. No. I think Brody was gone by then. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. Yeah, wow. Maybe world class in a tag match of some sort. Ooh. Yeah. I'm oh, yeah, because he, he did line up with the uh, the Von Erichs. So yeah. That might have happened. Yeah. yeah. That oh, may, like six the, man, maybe, yeah. or eight yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to Google mm-hmm. that fucking shit. Dude. Yeah, that, 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 we need like an all Survivor Series match for, with a bunch <laughs> of these fucking dudes, man. And we, oh, man. I can, I can just salivate about old school wrestling all day and all night long sometimes. You and me both. Man. Mm. You and me both. I can just fucking talk it, man. Can you? Um, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I, 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 I'm glad I'm not choosing this one. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest. Brody is king, man. Boom. Brody Bam. is king. So this is what I think, man. I'm not going to take it because I don't want you guys to think that I'm promoting my own show here you and are. holding my own belt. <laughs> you are. Okay. But what I'm going to do, there's three of us, so there's a three-man vote. Okay. I'm going to give my vote first, and I'm going to throw it to you, and I'm going to give you the one for the win, just so the guy that I know I want to win is going to win. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hawk versus Brody. One vote, Brody. Mm. I know you got Hawk, dude. I don't, I don't know how you're going to fucking hold his shoulders down. 
could Brody no sell a fucking that man LOD finisher? Mm. I think you send. Could the you pe- imagine? I think you send the people home happy and you give them Hulk. Oh, boom, bam. Who is going home? The champ of the first ever Skull Face Records, Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Eight Man. Big dishes in our head. Clusterfuck. Clusterfuck tournament. I have an answer to your Bruiser Brody Gordy question. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Lay it on us. They've wrestled twice. Boom. Nice. Once in WCCW. World, World class. class. Yep. 1986. Yep. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Double DQ. And once in WWE in the 1983. Whoa. I never knew Brody had a WWF run. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The, uh, uh, it, what year was that? 83. 83. Actually, that probably... No, that that could could that been for Vince Vince Senior and WWF? It had to be. Yeah. It had yeah. To be. yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, that might have been Vince I, Senior. I, I think that was pre WWF. What we all knew in the eighties. We need to watch along those yeah, two matches. We yeah, need, oh. we've been we've been talking about getting some watch along matches. If that's what we start, that would off be with, good that's, shit. That's starting off fucking going, baby. Starting off hot. Baby. Woo. I'll pull them up. Let you go. Who's the champ, Dustin? Hawk and Brody. What a tournament. Man. This is uh The blood would be standing in the canvas so thick by <laughs> yeah. this point. I just think of it. Oh, it's all good. This is giving us time for that Jeopardy music. <laughs> just just rocking like rocking each other, no selling, and no it just selling. becomes this big mountain of who's Hawk's gonna... not Luger. Hawk's not Luger. <laughs> Hawk's not climbing over the cage oh, yeah. and leaving. <laughs> no. Hawk's like this guy wants to fight. Hawk might fucking ask somebody to give him a shot. Yeah. He might bust a bottle over his fucking head and drink, take a big sip of it. Hawk's not Luger. Yeah. Hawk I would go one on one with anybody. I heard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh yeah. Like he was just one of those dudes. Like there's there's kind of a uh, you know, there's the dudes that they say they're tough and they can do this, but then there's the dudes that would fight anybody regardless. There's dudes that are talking about it and then there's dudes being about it. Hawk couldn't naturally uh, get away from, you know, trying to sell being scared of someone in the ring period. You yeah, know what no, I mean? Yeah, it no wasn't shit. natural for anything like that. It wasn't in his makeup, dude. It wasn't in a lot of those dudes from Minnesota's makeup. Yeah. Wow, there it is. You know, I guess, you know, they they made them tough back there back in the day. You know, even some of the uh, guys that you wouldn't even think would be so tough, like the Z-Man. Uh, man. He, yeah. was, he was Minnesota. Yeah. Like a lot, a lot of them Minnesota dudes wasn't nothing to fuck with. Yeah. <laughs> That mess so ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, like because you, 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 you know, you not only had the Road Warriors. Sorry, uh, man, you didn't uh, wasn't uh, the the Andersons build from uh, Minnesota as yeah. well? Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like and man, like. <laughs> Just, uh, I think Rick Rude, Rick, Rick Rude was a Minnesota guy, Absolutely. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Uh, Jesse Ventura, a lot of them. Wasn't Doctor Death? Uh, Flair was a Minnesota yeah. dude to start out with. You, everybody you guys are talking about, like, and they were all almost from that that weird same town. And we we, we haven't even talked about you know a smash of demolition. Oh yeah, we haven't yeah. even gotten that far yet. Like. <laughs> Was Nikita Koloff? Uh, I think he was a Carolina guy. Oh, sorry. I, I think. I think. Nikita. Sorry, I don't mean to get off of the shit, but Jesus Christ, if if anybody ever got me, he fooled me. <laughs> he fooled he? me, son. <laughs> yes, I seen him when I was five, probably six. I had a little action. I had a He-Man figure that was Nikita. I loved Nikita. I would give the fucking sickle to the car and hurt my fucking an arm because I was stupid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love Nikita. I talk like I talk. I can't do it good, but I talk like Nikita. Nikita wasn't Russian or none of that, <laughs> and I didn't know that till I was like 14, 15. Yeah, he's a preacher now. Oh god, <laughs> he fooled me, dude. He was good. He, he who fooled you guys? Who, who fooled you guys first? Like who was it? Like, like had you thinking he was something, and then all of a sudden you were like, 
And I, I'm not talking about Brutus Beefcake oh, either, Juicy. Him. <laughs> he hates Brutus. I, I truly believed that uh, Big Show was the son of Andre the Giant. Really? Like, oh my gosh, there's a legacy of giants coming. It's like, nah, he's just another really tall guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of did too, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. They made you believe it. Yeah. Like, they had like, the like, good ones believe, making like, you believe it. it, it, it as absurd as that is looking back on it uh-huh. yeah. like at the time like people were still like in in like the wrestling magazines push this narrative like yeah. and in the general public eye so like people still believed in it to 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 a to a degree mm-hmm. you know like uh, and honestly, like I wish people would get right back in, into that mindset, like because it's like going to a movie. If you don't get lost in it, man, and you sit there and nitpick the whole fucking thing, you're not gonna enjoy it. Like you're not everybody's a fucking expert. Like oh, hey, sit yeah. back and enjoy the shit, mm-hmm. like and have a good time. That's what this shit's meant for, man. Yeah, that's that's one thing that a lot of people need to do in their life every day, though, yeah. man. That's a good lesson. It's like don't get caught. Log up in stuff off a of goddamn yeah. Twitter and Survi- Facebook yeah. and enjoy the fucking world. Take a deep old breath and enjoy what you've accomplished like a lot you know with me i'm striving for something more every day yeah I, I'm, oh, yeah I'm one person that sets goals beyond what i probably should sometimes and i put too much on my plate just because i want to do so fucking much um and sometimes i have to fucking be hit in the face and say sit back and breathe it in motherfucker mm-hmm. enjoy what you've accomplished yep. we've all everybody in this fucking room has did a lot i feel like over the past few years and it sometimes it's a good thing to sit back and take a deep fucking breath and just fucking enjoy it for a little bit but then there's times to get fucking crazy and shit Mm -hmm. and i'm gonna ask you because you haven't answered this question i have not not yet so what i I don't want you to answer we'll get there we'll get there dustin okay i I don't know dustin actually dustin took too long well goddamn dustin's not answering this question jimmy okay victor vargas Everybody hail, everybody hail, we just came to raise a little hail. Everybody hail, everybody hail, we just came to raise a little hail. Oh. Is going to answer this fucking question. So, Victor Vargas, Ooh. can you take us out of the show? Let us know. Thank everyone for tuning in to From Parts Unknown. Juicy Jimmy, thank you for coming in. Thank Slam, you. Slam, thank you for everything. Victor Vargas, tell us what fucking time yeah. it is, man. Yeah. Let me tell you, let me tell you, I done come top down from old dirt foot right here to Skullface Records. And you're listening to the yeah, yeah, yeah man himself, the wildest man in West Virginia. We are live in the studio here with Victor Vargas. Can I get a word with you, please? Yeah. Oh, it's me. It's me. It's Dirty Double V, the Appalachian head on her. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Saturday, the 7th of December. Ooh, Jamestown. There's something real mean. Come stomping down from old Dirtfoot. Oh, and you ain't ready for what's coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 well, I guess he's out of here. Victor Vargas, be ready for him.